Okay, this is 537 Viva Serenade. Very quiet street right here. It looks like there might be some park area, walking trails or something there. And just uh, just over that way, maybe about a quarter mile, is a giant park. I know there's some schools over there too. And this house looks like it's got a little bit of uh, touch-ups needed, <coughs> which might be a good opportunity. Yeah, it seems like the house would benefit a lot by uh, a good professional cleaning and uh, a few touch-ups, but I wouldn't call it neglected. There's a giant mirror hanging on the wall here. It's really nice. It must go up about 12 feet. And as you come in the main entrance, there's a, a giant open area, tall ceilings, probably 25 feet up. And um, this is, it looks like ceramic tile, really nice ceramic tile floors, big windows. It just kind of smells dusty in, the, in here, like it, like it needs a good cleaning. Um, maybe it's been vacant for a while. Yeah, it looks like the, it's all in good condition. It's just a little bit like, like I'd hire a professional cleaning crew to come in, just really detail the place. The fridge isn't in great condition. It's a, kind of a smaller fridge with a lot of mileage on it. Yeah, it kind of, it kind of seems like the house has been vacant for a while is how it feels. There's some stonework here in the gas fireplace. I don't see any major flaws jumping out at me. Yeah. This is a pretty good house. Here's the laundry. There's a washing machine here. It's a little bit older. No dryer, but there's a gas hookup for a gas dryer there. Um, 110 power and the washer's not hooked up again this kind of not having the washer hooked up kind of suggests suggests that it's been like winterized you know like so that it doesn't facilitate a leak part of a car sitting here that's interesting here's a water heater it's a little bit older it's probably close to aging out there's a loop for a water softener. No water softener, though. This door might... It's locked on the bottom, but not the deadbolt. Yeah, a three-car garage with garage door openers on each side. That's good. Let's see what else we find. Oh, let me get the light. There we go. Go up. Yeah, the carpet on the stairs looks brand new, like this was redone recently. Yeah, this looks like brand new carpet all up here. You can see the overlook is really nice. So, the top of the stairs kind of goes into the master suite. You get the western exposure here. Good idea to have screens or get some tint to put, them, put on those windows. Yeah, two walk-in closets. And a pretty nice bathroom. It looks like there might have been some wallpaper or something there that was kind of almost removed. Yeah, it's just... Bathroom's kind of showing its age a little bit of, uh, yeah, like that tile's not even attached. A little bit of damage there. And that's not really curtains, but it's just, it's actually, there's thumbtacks holding it in place. So um, probably that was added by somebody for privacy there, I guess. Let's see the bedrooms real quick, and then we'll check out the backyard. Smaller bedrooms. This is pretty normal size, I guess. 
I think I estimated at 10 feet by 10 feet. All the paint looks good. There's no obvious signs of uh, water stains on the ceilings or anything like that. So the house is in pretty good condition, actually. I think I'd probably just get a really macho, really deep cleaning to it, and it would be ready to go. Oh, this, this last bedroom here is a little bit larger. You can see the um, mountain view off in the distance there through the screens. I hope that comes through okay. It's actually a pretty nice view. Overall, I'd say this is a pretty good house. I'd give it like a A or A minus grade. It needs a cleaning. The location is a little bit kind of out there for a lot of buyers, but if you're comfortable with the sort of far out in Henderson location, the house looks like a good opportunity. It's not in super great, fully renovated condition, so it's not going to attract like every single buyer in town. <laughs> oh, the pool, the pool looks great. This is a really nice pool. It needs a little maintenance. Um, oh, there we go. There is quite a lot of chipping on the plaster down in the bottom. That's weird. It usually doesn't show up there. It usually shows up in the shallow areas first. But there's quite a lot of uh, pock marks. I don't know if that'll show up on the video or not. There's a lot of glare out here in the sunlight, but there's quite a lot of um, possible repair issue there. That's something that uh, it's in a strange spot. So that may have been caused by something else, but if it is a plaster issue that's going to come back on the buyer uh, soon, we want to know about that. Probably want to have a pool operator look at it during due diligence. This looks like it had grass on it once upon a time, and now the grass has died. And a little bit of, um, you can see the paint exterior paint on this is really flaking off in some areas I don't know if that's coming through well on the video so much glare out here but it looks like the exterior is ready for a paint job and here's the heater and pool equipment You've got a hose bib there that's dripping yeah that that's dripping dripping almost continuously there's solar up there This all looks pretty good. It, I mean, for the right buyer, this is this looks like a, an opportunity because it's not going to attract tons and tons of buyers, so there won't be a lot of a lot of other competition. You can see right here on the ground. I don't I don't know if you can see it on the video, but it, you can see an area where water is collecting here. So there must be a low spot right in this area. So when it does rain, water sits there. That's not ideal, but there is kind of a little. I think they call these French drains next to it. And um, that's probably repairable. But it looks like there's a low spot there where water collects. There's no grass. The obvious, the obvious thing would be to uh, add, uh, add some turf over in the corner and maybe over here too. There's a little tree here. It doesn't provide much shade, but it, there's a little bit of shade. These two machines are kind of off brands, probably the original machines. Those are straight cool. This one's had a, a fan motor replacement, so probably other repairs as well. And this one's also had the condenser fan motor replaced. And um, yeah, these, these guys are gonna almost certainly be the original builder grade. It's kind of an off brand. And those have seen a lot of wear and tear, it looks like both fan motors have been replaced which is not uncommon it's not necessarily a cause for alarm especially if it was done um, at the right time before it caused any damage to anything else yeah we give this one an a grade as long as the location's right 
For the right person, this is a good house. It, a little tune-up would go a long way here, especially even something as simple as just like uh, exterior paint, interior uh, deep cleaning. And that is 537 Viva Serenade. I hope you enjoyed it. Have a nice day.